What's up y'all? My name is Miss Haley from Codespeak Labs and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you one of my favorite techniques that I use in Scratch all the time and that is how to upload sprites onto your Scratch project. There might be times when you've been thinking to yourself, I have definitely used every single sprite in the Scratch library. And maybe you want to do a project where you want to incorporate your favorite character from your favorite TV show or your favorite movie. Well, today I'm going to teach you exactly how to do that. You ready? Let's go! Alright everyone, we're going to jump straight into Scratch. So, I'm going to show you how to upload your own sprites and then how to upload your own backdrop. So, I have a brand new Scratch project here open no sprites, and if you see Scratchy the Cat, just click the garbage can to get rid of him. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to the bottom right hand corner and we're going to go to the choose a sprite button, but we're not going to actually click the button. We're going to go to the arrow that says upload sprite. When you click it, it should bring you to your files inside of your computer. So inside of my computer, I have a couple images saved already. You can get these images off of Google and download them yourself. Um, so for me, let's see what I have. I have uh, Mickey Mouse and I have Baby Yoda. So the first one we're gonna do is let's choose Baby Yoda. So I click Baby Yoda and then I click choose and then here he is in my scratch project and we can size him up or down. So let's make him a little smaller. There we go. All right, so let's say I choose a sprite now and I upload a sprite that has a background to it. So Baby Yoda didn't have a background. So let's say I choose Mickey. If I choose Mickey, we see that he still has his little background attached to him. So a couple ways to get around this. We can go to the costume section and we can go to the eraser button right underneath text and we can erase as much background as we want. You might be a little bit better at art skills than I am. All right, we're gonna try to take off as much background as we can. And if you're also better at Photoshop, it might be a good idea to use other platforms as well to get rid of the background and have a transparent picture. But we'll do our best for the time being. We go back a little bit. Let's make them size fifty. All right, so we have uploaded our own sprites onto our Scratch project. We can do the same thing with our backdrop. So we'll go down to the bottom right hand corner. We won't choose a backdrop, but we will hover over the button and go to the same arrow that says upload backdrop. And let's see what I have. I have a Disney background. So if I click choose, there's our Disney backdrop. A couple things though, so we see there's a little bit of um, room at the top and bottom. We can do something to fix that. So we click our backdrop and then we're going to go to the backdrop tab. I go to my selector button. And I'm going to make a square around or a rectangle around my backdrop. So you can do this by clicking and dragging and then you should see a little um, outline a blue outline surround your photo. And what we can do is we can just stretch this out a little bit. Stretch it out until all of the white space is filled. And voila, we see that our 
backdrop fills the entire scratch stage. And there you have it. All right, everyone, that concludes today's scratch technique of the day. I hope you enjoyed today's YouTube video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you're interested in taking online classes, visit codespeaklabs.com slash register. This is Coach Haley logging off. I'll see you next time.